Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, uh, we're going to go into our audio effects folder inside Logic Pro software. And I'm basically going to show you guys plugins. Um, this is basically for beginners and new users to Logic Pro. Uh, I just want to take you guys in, show you show you guys what kind of options the plugins have to offer. Um, uh, basically, uh, my ultimate goal is to get you guys a little bit more familiar with the plugins. So uh, today's plugin is called the Multipressor. We're going to go into our audio effects folder. We're going to go into Dynamics. We're going to go down to Multipressor. Uh, you're going to open it up, it's going to look a little something like this. What you have is you have your frequency range from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Um, uh, in spectrum 1, 2, 3, and 4, you're going to have different frequencies. You get, uh, in spectrum 1, you got uh, 20 hertz to, uh, to about 180. Uh, 2 is uh, about 180 to 1K. Uh, 3 is 1K to about like 7, 8K. And... Um, and four is about like 8k to 20k so basically uh, you guys can hire your frequency ranges you guys can't um, you guys uh, you guys are not going to be able to pick what frequency uh, range uh, you can hire and lower at the same time it's not like an EQ it just, it's just going to simply hire higher that frequency range so you got your low uh, your mid your high and your uh, well your mid uh, well your mid highs your mid highs and you got your highs so basically, you're gonna pick which one you want to hire, and you can also compress them at the same time. So basically, it acts as a, um, uh, a equalizer and a compressor, but you can only equalize the whole area at once. You can't equalize a certain frequency, um, uh, uh, one certain frequency. Sorry. So you basically go in, and this acts as a compressor. I already showed you guys how to work the compressor uh, with vocals. You want to go to six. I'll give you guys a quick little hint. But that's about it. You guys, um, uh, uh, as soon as you hire your your for your uh, frequency range in one you guys can compress it at the same time and the best way to learn this is just to basically go in you know throw it on a track and try it out for you guys yourselves if something's missing some uh, low a low end or a high end you know you can you can fix it with the multi-pressors it's a great plugin but this is basically it guys thank you guys for watching and uh, please subscribe